in this exercise, we're going to look at one particular equilibrium system, and we're going to see what happens or predict what will, should happen for each of these following changes. So let's first of all look at the equilibrium. We have one mole of PCL5 gas in equilibrium with one mole of PCL3 gas and one mole of chlorine gas. Another piece of information to pay attention to is that the delta H value for this equilibrium is a positive 87.9 kilojoules. That means that this is an endothermic equilibrium. So, first of all, what happens when some chlorine gas is removed from the system? If we're removing chlorine gas, that means we're decreasing the concentration of chlorine, and Le Chatelier's principle predicts that the system will shift to restore that change. So, in, if chlorine gas is removed, the reaction will shift to create more chlorine gas, it will shift to the right. The other thing to note is that because we're not changing the temperature, the equilibrium constant will remain the same value. Now let's look at the second example. What happens to this equilibrium system if the temperature is decreased? Again, when we're changing the temperature, we have to pay attention to whether this is endothermic or exothermic. Since this is endothermic, that means that heat is acting like a reactant. So if we're decreasing the temperature, we're decreasing some of the reactants. So in this case, the reaction will shift to the reactant side. It'll shift to the left to restore more heat that we lost when we decreased the temperature. In this case, the value for the equilibrium constant will change. Since we're decreasing the products and increasing the reactants, the equilibrium constant should get smaller. What about if the volume is increased? What we have to pay attention to with volume changes is the moles of gas on each side of the equilibrium. On this side, we have one mole of gas. On the product side, we have two moles of gas. And again, remember that we're only concerned about moles of gas when we're changing the volume or pressure. So if we're increasing the volume, that means we have room for more moles of gas. So in this situation, we have more moles of gas on the product side. So in this situation, the system will shift to the right to produce more moles of gas. And again, the equilibrium constant would remain the same value because the temperature is not changing. In this fourth example, PCL3 is added to the system. So we're going to add some more PCL3. We're increasing that. If we're increasing the amount of PCL3, Le Chatelier's principle predicts that the system will shift to counteract that change. It will shift to reduce PCL3. So it can reduce PCL3 by using it up. So it will shift to the left to use up some of that PCL3. And again, because there's no temperature change, the equilibrium constant is remaining constant. So that concludes our series of lessons on equilibrium. We hope you've enjoyed these videos, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us.